Well, good morning. Um, I prepared a little bit of a devotion here for everyone. Uh, I hope it can be something that speaks to y'all. Um, as it spoke to me, God has spoken to me um, through this process. Um, what I want to go through right here at the beginning is some of the blessings that we have and then also the complaints that we as humans can come up with. Uh, first one is I'm blessed to have a family. Uh, God has given me a wonderful family um, and I enjoy them. Uh, one of the complaints I could have is sometimes the kids act absolutely crazy. Um, there, I say things that I thought I would never have to say. Um, a blessing, another blessing is uh, food at mealtimes. Um, one of the complaints I could currently have is um, I really have to help Taylor cook. Uh, she still can't walk. I'm sure that it bothers her more than it does me. Uh, and after I work all day, then I come home and help cook. I could complain about that, but I, I have food on my plate. Um, a blessing, another blessing that I have is uh, I'm able to go get groceries. Um, a complaint I could have is when I get to the store, the shelves are kind of semi-empty. They don't have my brand of Clorox wipes. Don't have any Clorox wipes, actually. Don't have my brand of cream cheese. I wish it was this kind of uh, brand or flavor of drink I could get, but they're out of that one. I have to go to another one. These are all these complaints that we could come up with. Um, one blessing that I think we have, we're currently using this, um, is technology to be able to continue to have church. As a church, we can meet and virtually speaking and listen to the messages and songs um, that God has for us. One of our complaints could be not being able to meet at the church as a group. Um, but we have this technology that keeps us connected. Um, one of the blessings we all have as Christians is the plan of salvation. Um, and one of the complaints that I could come up with personally with spiritual stuff is, why do I have to still work at being patient? Um, why hasn't God, quote unquote, cured me of that so I don't have to worry about that anymore and um, right now it's uh, one of the things I'm struggling with um, in Psalms 94 19 says when the cares of my heart are many your consolations cheer my soul and that's saying his consolations cure our soul. It's just not like a temporary cheerfulness or whatever. It's like something really deep. Um, and so God has already, um, or David experienced this, obviously, um, in this passage, that every time he was um, had a lot of cares in his heart and worries, then just the simple consolation of God um, just gave him um, a lot of cheer. Um the passage I'm going to read this morning is uh, Philippians 4, 4 through 7. <clears throat> when the fullness of time had come, I'm sorry, that's not Philippians. There we go. That was Galatians. Let's go to Philippians 4, 4 through 7. Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I will say rejoice. Let your reasonableness be known to everyone. The Lord is at hand. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. And one word I want to bring out and kind of explain just a little bit, when it says, um, let your reasonableness be known to everyone, another word for that is let your gentleness be known to everyone. Um, and then let's just look, I want to hone in there on verses six and seven. Uh, they're towards the latter part of uh, six. But in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, um, let your request be made known to God. In the peace of God, which surpasses 
all understanding will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Um, so anytime something comes up, um, I'm sure there's a lot of issues and a lot of things that can come up uh, during these times that we're facing as a country, as a world, um, that can cause us to worry, that can cause us to um, be concerned, um, not knowing what the future is, not knowing, uh, you know, how's this issue going to turn out? How's that issue going to turn out? When are we going to get to go back to church? When is the world going to open up? When is our state going to open up? Um, all we have to do, it says here, is ask him um, with prayer and supplication, being thankful for what we do have, and his peace will be among us. Um, that's something that, uh, I've been challenged with. Um, I know that my family hasn't faced, um, as many difficulties, uh, during this time as what some have, uh, around the world or even in our country and maybe even in here in the county. Um, but it's still, you know, easy to get caught up in, uh, worry and concern, you know, what's the future going to hold and so on and so forth. So I just encourage y'all to, um, you know, go to God. Uh, maybe even write a list of things that you're thankful for and go ahead and write the list of things you want to be not thankful for, you want to complain and just compare them. And, and you will probably see that you will have a lot more to be thankful for than a lot more to be um, upset about. And um, I wish everyone a great week. And um, I'm looking forward to uh, meeting with everyone at church on a Sunday morning, uh, whenever that time comes.